Uh, so a topic that comes up quite often in my life is how to attach rework wires onto a circuit board that's a super fine pitch, uh, either for reverse engineering or for correcting an error. And uh, what we see here is just a typical small pitch uh, surface mount circuit board. There's a couple wires I've soldered onto it. Uh, just going to go through the steps of uh, what it takes to do that. To give you some sort of a sense of the scale of this circuit board, the uh, vias are about half a millimeter in diameter. All this technique will work way down into even finer pitches than this. Uh, you don't need a lot of sophisticated equipment to do this. You just need to know the right technique. Uh, the first thing is critical is you need the right kind of wire. You need something called magnet wire, and here's a typical spool of it, 32 gauge. Uh, this is wire that's typically meant for winding bobbins uh, in uh, transformers and inductors. Uh, but it's also really helpful in this particular rework, and that's because of the insulation they have on it. Uh, it is a coating that uh, melts off fairly easily under an iron, um, but is a, a very thin coating, and like uh, most, even wire wrap wire, the coating is much too thick uh, for this rework technique to work well. So uh, you can buy this easily off DigiKey. They have uh, big schools of it. Just uh, search for the word magnet wire. The other things you need, of course, are uh, some solder. Uh, hopefully uh, lead solder if you have it. Uh, if you don't, lead-free that works, but it's much more difficult. Lead-free is always much more harder to use in hand soldering. Uh, some capped on tape, uh, X-Acto knife, and a pair of side cutters. Um, and that's all that uh, I need. Oh, and a soldering iron. Um, now, I don't use a very sophisticated solder iron. I use a Weller here. Uh, this is, uh, I think, probably the bottom of the line, actually. Big tip, 1.8 millimeters. So the tip actually grossly exceeds the size of the V I'm going to solder on. Let's uh, see how we can make that work so easily. The key here is, of course, taking an X-Acto knife. It's got to be a brand new one. You want a really sharp knife, and you want to use your thumb to uh, hold it uh, in place. And uh, you scrape off the uh, solder resist coating on the via. And it's very important not to touch the uh, coating that exceeds the via, because what we're going to do is we're going to put a little dab of solder on the via. Uh, it's going to naturally flow in there, even though we've got a really large solder iron tip. Uh, here you can see I tin it a bit with some uh, solder externally. And then I come in and I just coat the via with solder. Now with the via nicely coated, I just cut uh, the magnet wire uh, to the length I desire uh, with a pair of side cutters. It's critical not to actually nick the insulation because what's going to happen here is we're going to put it right on the via and then we're going to put some solder around it and the uh, insulation will melt off and uh, it'll make a really, actually, quite, and surprisingly strong bond to the circuit board. And uh, here we can see that technique with my... Uh, really just gigantic solder tip, but it's just fine because it just melts the solder around the wire and then we get this uh, nice connection. Now it looks a bit grubby because I'm using rosin based core and not uh, no clean uh, solder. I do find the stuff with the rosin core uh, delivers better results, uh, but if you don't like the rosin core, of course, you can just take a brush with some isopropyl alcohol and then uh, puff it off with some compressed air, uh, leaving this uh, this connection. Uh, and this is just fine. This is actually a fairly strong connection. Um, you can actually probe it quite successfully. And I put a scope probe on the side of the wire and such not. Uh, the only thing I often do is I put down some caps on tape. I tape the wire down. Uh, that seems to help because uh, if you do try to wrench the wire too hard, of course, it will eventually come off because um, it's only about half a millimeter of solder they're holding the wire on. So there you go. Uh, that is a common technique in reworking circuit boards for uh, probing purposes and uh, also for fixing design errors. Uh, grab yourself a spool of magnet wire and uh, it's a dead easy simple process.